Good happy Monday evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to Sports with Riley King. Let's begin. Red Sox slugger J.D. Martinez says he will visit White House with team. Boston Red Sox designated hitter and outfielder J.D. Martinez has made his decision about the team's upcoming visit to the White House. Speaking Sunday from spring training at JetBlue Park in Fort Myers, Florida, Martinez had his turn to face the questions. He said, I'm going. Yeah. I believe it's an honor to go, said the World Series champion and winner of the 2018 Player of the Year Award from Major League Baseball Players Association. That's our capital. That's our... It's the White House. Not a lot of people ever get to go there, so I'm really excited about it. The Red Sox were originally scheduled to visit in February, but that was postponed to May during the uncertainty of the government shutdown. Red Sox manager Alex Cora, a Puerto Rico native who has been outspoken about its need for hurricane relief, indicated previously that he may skip the World Series celebration at the White House over Trump's policies toward the island. It was announced in late January that perhaps the team's best player, Mookie Betts, decided he wouldn't be visiting the White House. Before the visit was rescheduled, third baseman Reel Denvers told reporters that he was not going to go to the White House, but he said it was not about talk taking a political he said that he wanted to focus on spring training and baseball instead. Colin Kirkpatrick, a Patriot, quarterback's attorney, makes bold prediction. Let's take a listen to this video. I'm going to make a bold prediction that um, one of three teams picks him up. I think you're going to see, I, I'll make the bold prediction, you can save the tape. I think you're going to see within the next two weeks that somebody's going to step up, somebody's going to do the right thing, and you want me to predict too? I will tell you, besides the Panthers, it would not surprise me if Bob Kraft um, makes a move. Okay, and there you go on his prediction. We'll have to... See if that prediction will come true or not. Super Bowl MVP Julian Edelman waves green flag at Daytona 500. Super Bowl MVP Julian Edelman could feel the buzz at the Daytona 500. Edelman Sporting neatly trimmed facial hair, served as honorary starter, and waved the green flag for Sunday's race. The New England Patriots star receiver called NASCAR drivers absolutely insane. And here is a photo of video of him waving the green flag. Take a look. Video. 
Edelman had his brushy beard clipped on a recent taping of the Ellen DeGeneres show, which the trimmings used to raise money for the Boys and Girls Club of Boston. Edelman doesn't know if he'll grow the beard again to its raggy length again next season, but he grew it by taking the advice of Patriots coach Bill Belichick to heart. Edelman earned Super Bowl MVP honor after catching 10 passes for 141 yards while helping lift the Patriots to a 13-3 victory over the Los Angeles Rams. Miss seeing Edelman's beard? You can own the trimmings. Beard trimmings up for auction for charity. Remember the moment Ellen DeGeneres shaved off Super Bowl MVP Julian Edelman's beard? DeGeneres shaved Edelman's beard on the Ellen DeGeneres show one week ago. Believe it or not, she kept the hair. Now you can bid on the beard for charity. The auction includes the trimming of Edelman's hair that were shaved off on the show. You'll also receive a photograph of the trimming in progress autographed by Ellen DeGeneres. Money raised will benefit the Boss Boys and Girls Club of Boston. And the Bruins play tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Time against St. Joe's Sharks. And exciting announcement, sports fans. There are two WMUR TV folks running in the Boston Marathon this year and raising money for Special Olympics. WMUR News Director Alicia McDonald and Jamie Staston are half away eight weeks through the training program. Below is their fundraising page. And let's take a look at their fundraising page. Here is their goal. Jamie Staston is the sports director and weekday sports anchor at WMUR TV. He joined Channel 9 in 1998. Catch all the, of his highlights and feature sports stories weekdays at 5, 6, 10, and 11. Jamie is an out of, out of, avid runner and has ran five Boston sports marathons, raising over 48000 for Special Olympics New Hampshire. You'll see him at many New Hampshire races through the year. And Alicia McDavid is the news director at Debbie Muir and began working at Debbie Muir in 1995. Her success in her career have placed her front and center at the station. This will be her first Boston Marathon, and we are grateful for her choosing to support Special Olympics. And I encourage all of my viewers here at the Riley King Network, donate to Jamie Staston and Alicia McDavid um, to help benefit the Special Olympics and cheer them on in the Boston Marathon as well. They do a great job on WMUR News 9 and keep up the great work. And that is it for this edition of Sports with Riley King. I hope you all enjoyed this edition of Sports with Riley King and have a wonderful night, everyone. See you back here tomorrow night for another edition of Sports with Riley King. Good night, everyone. Bye.